so yes there's a lot of history about the 1938 stock the main routes that were uh, operated by the 1938 stock were the um, Jubilee line and Northern line and also a little bit on the Piccadilly line as well and during the 1970s um, if you remember the East London line which ran between Shoreditch and New Cross which is now part of the London Overground um, they worked the 1938 stock trains replacing the Q stock and if you don't know what the Q stock is the Q stock were primarily used on the district line uh, which um, are 1936 stocks also during the mid 1980s um, they were used on the Woodford to Hainault and Epping, and Epping to Ongar sections of the central line obviously now there's no Epping and Ongar um, there's only the bit of Epping not, not Ongar but um, you can still ride on the Epping and Ongar railway um, yeah, in Essex. Um, so those are genuinely the main kind of routes that the 38 stock used. So now I've said all this, I should be getting on the train to Harrow on the Hill. Thank you know as much as I do. It's not as I meant it's a menu, yeah. And off we go. Wait, I'll stop it. I'll stop it. I'll stop it.
her and arrow on the hill where the train terminates. Now this would be where they do the doors and the lights and so on. And as you can see, that is a very big gap. So there you have it, the 1938 tube stock. It's a very bumpy ride, it, it's brilliant. It's amazing and if you want to uh, definitely come and have um, a ride on these, they're doing multiple events, um, the next one I think in the Piccadilly line on the Heathrow Loop, that's in August sometime and they are also doing the um, Metropolitan line. I think it's the Amersham, Amersham or Watford or something. Um, I feel it's me, I've got about four or so minutes before, uh, before we depart back to, to Uxbridge, so I'm going to get on the train and I shall see you.